aboard the ESU flagship Vanguard, orbiting the hostile world of Nimai 344. The atmosphere in the drop bay was electric, a potent mix of anticipation and adrenaline. Space Marines, encased in their advanced combat armor, checked and rechecked their gear, a ritual of preparation and reassurance. Samantha Ridges, 3rd Sergeant of the Earth Standard Union's elite Space Marine Corps, stood amongst her fellow soldiers, her focus inward as she mentally rehearsed the mission ahead. Her armor, a marvel of military engineering, hugged her form, its weight negligible thanks to the sophisticated tech woven into its design. She was a fortress unto herself, but it was the figure of Captain Eli Ellis that anchored her, gave her purpose. Eli, a veteran of countless engagements and the leader of their unit, moved through the ranks with a calm assurance. His voice, when he spoke, cut through the din of last-minute preparations. Listen up, Eli began, his gaze sweeping over his team. Today, we're not just taking a piece of rock, we're securing humanity's future. Nimai 344 is teeming with threats, but there's nothing out there we can't handle together. Samantha watched him, her respect for Eli evident in her attentive stance. She knew the risks they all did. The planet below was a hive of hostile life, every inch contested by insect like aliens that knew no fear, no surrender. As the drop time approached, Eli approached Samantha, clapping a gauntlet hand on her shoulder. Ridges, you ready for this, he asked, his voice a private communication between their suits. Always, Captain Samantha replied, a grin evident in her tone. A good day to fight, a better day to kill. Eli nodded a brief chuckle escaping him. That's the spirit. Remember, stick to the plan, watch each other's backs, and we'll all come home heroes. The siren blared then, the signal that their time had come. The drop pods, lined in neat rows, awaited their occupants, the gateway to the battlefield below. Samantha climbed into her designated pod, the space tight but familiar. The hatch sealed with a hiss, plunging her into semi-darkness, lit only by the soft glow of her suit's HUD. Around her, she knew her brothers and sisters in arms were doing the same, a united front against the coming storm. Drop in T-10 the ship's AI announced, its voice a calm constant amidst the surge of nerves. Samantha took a deep breath, her thoughts clear, her resolve unbreakable. She was a space marine, a defender of humanity, and she relished the challenge. As the countdown reached zero, the pods were released, hurtling toward Nim by 344 at breakneck speed. Samantha felt the familiar push against her as the pod accelerated, the planet's surface rushing up to meet them. The landing was rough, the pod's system straining against the planet's dense atmosphere. But then, with a jarring impact, they were down, the hatch blowing open to reveal the chaotic landscape of Nim I-344. Samantha was the first out, her rifle at the ready, her senses alert to any threat. The air was thick with the sounds of battle, the sky darkened by smoke and the flashes of distant explosions. This is it, she murmured, stepping forward into the fray, her unit spilling out behind her, a tide of steel and resolve. Move out, Eli's voice commanded, and together they advanced, a single entity with a singular purpose to secure drop zone Alpha Ann, with it a foothold on Nimai 344. The battle had begun, and Samantha Ridges was ready. The dense foliage of Nim I-344's jungles pressed in on Samantha Ridges and her unit as they advanced through the alien terrain. The air was thick, heavy with the scent of something foreign yet vaguely reminiscent of wet earth after a storm. Visibility was limited, the jungle's vibrant flora concealing potential threats with every step they took. Keep your eyes, peeled Captain Eli Ellis commanded his voice low but clear in the calm links. Intel suggests the hive is located in a clearing beyond these ruins. Expect heavy resistance. Samantha gripped her rifle tighter, her senses heightened. Despite the danger, a surge of adrenaline fueled her steps a cocktail of anticipation and resolve. She lived for this, the chance to defend humanity against whatever threats lurked in the vastness of space. As they neared a clearing, the first signs of the alien inhabitants became apparent. Structures, organic in design yet unmistakably constructed, rose from the ground, their surfaces pulsing slightly as if breathing. 
Then, without warning, the aliens attacked. Insect-like creatures, varying in size but unified in their hostility, swarmed the unit. Their exoskeletons glistened in the faint sunlight that broke through the canopy, mandibles clicking and limbs brandishing natural weapons. Contact Samantha shouted, the first to open fire. Her rifle, a masterpiece of military engineering, unleashed a barrage in the rounds, cutting through the attackers with lethal efficiency. The unit formed at a defensive perimeter, their training taking over. Eli moved through their ranks, issuing orders, his own weapon dispatching alien after alien. Ridges flank left with Martinez and Kim. We need to push them back, Eli's order came through the chaos, directing Samantha and two others to maneuver for a tactical advantage. Samantha nodded to her comrades, and together they advanced, their armor servos whirring softly as they moved. The weight of their gear was negligible, the tech allowing them to move with a grace that belied their heavily armored forms. I watched the six Martinez called out, just as a larger creature leaped towards them. Samantha reacted instantly, her training automatic, and the threat was neutralized before it could land a blow. The battle raged a cacophony of gunfire, alien shrieks, and the constant communication between the Marines. Samantha fought with a fierce joy, each alien felt a victory in the larger war for survival. As the firefight reached its climax, Eli led a concentrated push towards the heart of the alien hive. Explosives were set, their timers ticking down the moments to detonation. Well back Eli's command cut through the noise, and the unit retreated, just as the charges exploded. The ground shook, a shockwave rippling through the air, and the hive collapsed in on itself a significant blow to the alien forces. But victory came at a cost. As the dust settled and the unit regrouped, the toll of the engagement was clear. Martinez lay still, his armor cracked, the light in his eyes dimmed. Kim knelt beside him, her expression hidden behind her visor, but her posture spoke volumes. Samantha felt a pang of loss, her heart heavy. They had won, but the price paid was steep. Eli approached, placing a hand on Samantha's shoulder, a silent gesture of shared grief and solidarity. We did what we had to do, he said, his voice carrying the weight of command and the burden of loss. Martinez did his duty, as we all do. We'll honor him and continue the fight, for humanity. The dense foliage of Nim I-344's jungles pressed in on Samantha Ridges and her unit as they advanced through the alien terrain. The air was thick, heavy with the scent of something foreign yet vaguely reminiscent of wet earth after a storm. Visibility was limited, the jungle's vibrant flora concealing potential threats with every step they took. Keep your eyes peeled, Captain Eli Ellis commanded, his voice low but clear in the calm links. Intel suggests the hive is located in a clearing beyond these ruins. Expect heavy resistance. Samantha gripped her rifle tighter, her senses heightened. Despite the danger, a surge of adrenaline fueled her steps a cocktail of anticipation and resolve. She lived for this, the chance to defend humanity against whatever threats lurked in the vastness of space. As the dense jungle of Nim I-344 gives way to the sprawling ruins of an ancient civilization, Samantha Ridges and a select team, led by Captain Eli Ellis, proceed with caution. The remnants of towering structures and intricate carvings suggest a once great society, now nothing but a ghostly backdrop to the alien infestation. Keep your guards up, Eli advises, quietly, his eyes scanning the decrepit archways and fallen columns. This place is teeming with secrets and dangers. Samantha can't help but feel a mix of awe and sorrow as they navigate through the ruins. Do you think the aliens did this, she whispers to Eli, gesturing at a shattered statue its features eroded but still hinting at its former majesty. Eli shakes his head, his expression thoughtful beneath his helmet. No, this was long before them. Whatever happened here, it's a reminder that civilizations can fall, leaving barely a trace. Their mission to gather intel on the alien strategies and weaknesses becomes even more pressing amid the ruins. As they delve deeper, the team deploys drones and sensors, searching for any data that might give the ESU forces an edge. Suddenly, the quiet is shattered by a warning from their tech specialist, Jenkins. Movement ahead, he hisses. Something big. The team tightens formation, 
weapons at the ready, as a hulking figure emerges from the shadows of a collapsed archway. Unlike the insect-like creatures they've encountered so far, this alien variant is armored, its limbs ending in razor-sharp appendages. Eli, what the hell is that Samantha asks, her voice tense as she aims her rifle at the approaching threat. A queen, maybe? Or a guardian of these ruins, Eli responds, equally wary. Either way, it's between us and our objective. Take it down. The firefight that ensues is chaotic. The alien is fast, its armor resistant to their initial volleys. Samantha finds herself diving for cover, narrowly avoiding a swipe that would have decimated her cover. Focus fire on its joints, Eli commands, identifying weak spots in the creature's armor. The team adjusts, their shots becoming more precise, gradually wearing the beast down. Samantha, spotting an opening, launches a grenade directly into one of the creature's exposed joints. The explosion sends it reeling, providing the team with an opportunity to unleash a final barrage. The alien collapses, its form still, breathing heavily. Samantha rises, checking on her teammates. Everyone okay, she asks, her relief evident as they all confirm their status. Eli nods, clapping her on the shoulder. Good call with that grenade, Ridges. Let's move on, we've got intel to collect. The team pushes forward, their encounter with the formidable alien leaving them more cautious but undeterred. The ruins hold secrets, possibly crucial to their understanding of the planet and its current inhabitants. Samantha, looking back at the fallen alien, ponders the planet's history and the cycle of conflict that seems inherent to it. Who were they, Eli? The ones who built all this, she muses, her gaze lingering on the ruins. We might never know Eli admits, his voice soft. But their legacy, like ours, will be defined by how we face our battles. And we face them together, as a team. With the mission accomplished, but their minds burdened with new questions, the team makes their way back to the ESU lines, the ruins standing silent behind them, a haunting reminder of civilizations lost and the ongoing struggle for survival. Beneath the surface of Nimai 344, in the sprawling labyrinth that is the central hive of the insect-like aliens, Samantha Ridges and her unit prepare for one of their most critical missions yet. The air is thick, heavy, with the scent of alien flora and the buzzing of countless creatures that call the hive home. Remember, the charges need to be placed at structural weak points, Eli instructs, his voice steady despite the palpable tension. We take out the heart, and the rest collapses. Samantha nods, checking her pack for the last time. Let's make sure we all come back to tell the tale, she adds, offering a determined glance to her comrades. The team splits, each member tasked with planting explosives at predetermined locations throughout the hive. Samantha's route leads her deeper into the complex, each step taking her further into the heart of darkness. As she navigates the narrow passages, the scale of the hive astounds her. Chambers stretch vast and wide, teeming with alien life workers, soldiers, and the young. Her resolve wavers momentarily, the weight of her mission pressing down. What are we doing, she whispers to herself, the question a fleeting thought amid the urgency of her task. Her calm crackles to life, Eli's voice cutting through the silence. Status ridges. Approaching the final point, she responds, pushing doubts to the back of her mind, setting the charge now. The mission progresses, each team member reporting success. But as Samantha retraces her steps to regroup, an unexpected collapse blocks her path, a consequence of the hive's destabilizing structure. Eli, I've hit a snag. Roots blocked. Finding a detour, she reports, her voice calm despite the spike in her adrenaline. I'm on my way to you, Eli responds. Hold position. Samantha finds herself in a vast chamber, the heart of the hive, where the queen resides. The enormity of the hive's population, its complexity, strikes her anew. As she prepares to defend her position, waiting for Eli, a sudden realization dawns upon her their mission, while necessary, ends countless lives, a burden she must bear. Eli arrives, breathless from his haste. Got you, he says, just as the ground trembles, the explosive's activation imminent. Time to go, Samantha urges, 
leading the way as they navigate the rapidly collapsing tunnels. The hive begins to implode, a testament to the mission's success, but also a stark reminder of the cost. While in their frantic escape, Eli stumbles, a piece of debris pinning him down. Samantha reacts instantly, her strength augmented by her suit, as she frees him. Together, they make the final push to the surface, the hive collapsing behind them, its destruction complete. As they emerge into the dim light of Nimai 344's sun, Samantha and Eli catch their breath, the silence between them heavy with unspoken thoughts. We did what we had to for humanity, Eli finally says, his gaze meeting Samantha's. I know she replies, the weight of their actions a shared burden, but at what cost? Aboard the ESU command ship Vanguard, orbiting the now quiet planet of Nimai 344. Samantha Ridges finds herself in the communal lounge, staring out at the stars. The quiet hum of the ship serves as a stark contrast to the chaos and noise of the battle below. Her armor stands at rest next to her, a silent sentinel of the day's events. Eli Ellis joins her, his own armor echoing her own silent vigil. He carries two cups of coffee, offering one to Samantha. Thought you could use this, he says, his voice carrying an understanding only those who've shared the battlefield can know. Thanks, Samantha replies, accepting the cup. She takes a sip, the warmth, the small comfort against the cold of space and the chill of her thoughts. They sit in silence for a moment, the vastness of space stretching out before them, a tapestry of light against the dark. It's done. Then Samantha finally speaks, her voice a mix of relief and something else a hesitation, a doubt. Eli nods. It's done. Nemi 344 is ours, but at a cost. Samantha turns to look at him. Do you ever wonder if it's worth it, Eli? The lives lost, both ours and theirs. Are we right to do this? Eli leans back, considering her question. I do, every time. But then I remember what's at stake. Humanity needs room to grow, to thrive. We didn't start this war, Samantha, but it's our duty to finish it. But where does it end when every threat is neutralized? When every alien world is ours, Samantha presses, the weight of her experiences on Nim, my 344, bringing forth questions she'd never dared to voice. Eli doesn't answer immediately, the question hanging between them like a specter. I don't know, he admits, but I trust in our mission, in the ESU. Without that trust, without that belief, everything we do falls apart. Samantha looks back out at the stars, considering his words. She understands duty, the need to protect humanity. Yet the faces of the insect like aliens in their final moments haunt her, a stark reminder of the cost of their expansion. Maybe you're right, she says after a moment, but I hope one day we find another way, a way that doesn't cost us our humanity. Eli nods, the sentiment resonating with him as well. So do I, Samantha. So do I. As the conversation wanes, Samantha finds herself alone once more, gazing out into the universe. Nimai 344 is a silent point of light among countless others, a world forever changed by their actions. Humanity's quest for survival and expansion is an odyssey marked by victories and losses, hope and doubt. And as she looks out into the infinite, Samantha Ridges understands that the path ahead is fraught with challenges, but it is one they must navigate with both determination and caution for the sake of the future. Thanks for listening to this story. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you liked it. We'll see you in the next one.